Hello, and welcome back to Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. I'm your host, Jaramus. During the spring of 1159, the Sturgeons managed to capture the town of Saniopa from the Karadic Empire, as well as the castle of Atrion. The Kuzait have been attacking in the east, capturing much of the nor many of the northern castles of the Empire, as well as the town of Makeb in the east. Meanwhile, in the south near Ortesia, a Batanian army has come to lay siege to it, but the Emperor is more than capable of engaging the enemy. Oh my, I seem to have made a mistake here. And thus the enemy is defeated once again. I don't really want looters. They're pretty much the only troop type that I don't that I don't recruit. Lately, I've been increasing uh, Bartimus the Second's um, roguery skill by giving him uh, troops whenever we go into a town or castle. In order to stop the caravans, the Emperor releases the Lords and his army to go seek them out. 
though they don't always go after the caravans. Oh, why not? Let them have peace. As you can see, this tactic is very useful. <laughs> well, not particularly. In any event, I have more documents to look over, so I shall see you all a bit later. See you then. Ah, there you are, my friend. By the spring of 1160, Emperor Clodius spends roughly a year around Garantor, attacking lords' parties that come against uh, the villages of Lys and Garantor, Lycia and Garantor, while also dispatching lords that he gathers into an army to attack caravans from time to time. The Emperor's e efforts are marginally successful. But this inadvertently redirects resources and manpower from the east, where the Empire has lost the towns of Amprella and Argoron. As well as the town of Lycaron, which has fallen to the Vlandians. Although the Emperor is at peace with three of the five enemy factions, the Vlandians and Kuzait are still crushing the Empire between them. Currently, the Empire boasts the strength of less than 10,000 soldiers, whereas his enemies boast hosts of 7, 000, over 7,000 for the Kuzite and over 8,000 for the Vlandians. In short, the wars are going quite poorly for Emperor Clodius. However, he has left strong garrisons within Poros and Zionica, and even stronger garrisons within Ortisia and Garantor. Currently, the Emperor has decided to engage in a new experiment. He's decided to gather his host, to gather a large host, and stay within the currently at peace town of, of Kuyaz, within the Asurai territory, to see how long such a town could support an army and its own loyalty to the Asurai. Oftentimes, when an army is within a town, it devours the food of said town and lowers the loyalty to the overlord of said town. The Emperor still is waiting for many of his lords to catch up, but until then, he shall wait. And he shall also buy up much 
the Asurai goods within this particular community. particularly the food. However, the Emperor is quite aware that the Asurai could go to war with him at any time. As a result, he has emptied his stores of most goods that um, he feels he could do, he could not do without. He's left many of his better items, uh, particularly armor and weapons, and uh, his better horses mostly, within his um, within the town of Altisia. And to ensure that the town cannot purchase more food, the emperor will overpay the town merchants. Every day at noon, the Emperor shall once again view the contents of the stores of this particular community and drain it of all food. It is a long process, so I shall leave you here for the time being and uh, come back a bit later. See you then. Oh yes, uh, one more thing before I forget. During the previous year, Zoana was born to the Emperor's cousin Arenikos. In addition, the Emperor's son, Phaedon, wait, no, no, the Emperor's grandson, Phaedon, and where is he? And the Emperor's son, Morinon, who are of an age, well, come of age. <laughs> the 
the Emperor currently is leading them in his own army. Make peace with the ass with the Kuzite. Oh, why not? We have more men in here. The amount of food should go, should go down quite swiftly. In any event, I've a few more documents to look over, so I shall see you later. See you then. <laughs> ah, there you are, my friend. Uh, not uh, long after I left you, I found a document concerning the Emperor's health during the spring of 1160. The Emperor was at death's door, racked by fever, drifting in and out of consciousness. The healers do not believe that he will recover, and that he should resolve his final affairs to determine an heir for his clan, while he still has the strength to speak. Even so, the Emperor continues on in his endeavour to cause rebellion within the town of Kuyaz. Even with illness affecting him. In any event, I shall leave you here and come back a bit later. See you then. Ah, there you are, my friend. <clears throat> After waiting in Kuyaz for a time, the Emperor heard that there was far more discontent in the town of Askar to the south, where the loyalty is much less than in Kuyaz. So the Emperor changes tactics and marches south to, Ku to Askar. In any event, I shall... When the Emperor arrives, he participates in a local tournament. Although much weakened, the Emperor cares little for his illness. He wishes to show people that he is still a warrior. His son participates in the tournament as well. Thank you. 
and thus the ill and aging emperor is in the final round. And succeeds in winning the tournament. One last hurrah for Emperor Clodius. In any event, I've some more documents to look over, so I shall see you all a bit later. See you then. During the summer of 1160, Emperor Clodius of the Karadic Empire dies of natural causes. However, there is a great matter to be decided among his successors. The Emperor has a great many heirs. He has several daughters, several sons, several grandsons. But in the end, the Emperor chooses his eldest son, Bartimus II, to be his heir. And so it is that Bartimus II ascends the throne. At this particular time, the Empire is currently only at war with the Vlandians. Lycaron, which was in Vlandian hands, was recaptured by the Empire. Argoron has rebelled against the Kuzait. In any event, I have more documents to look over, so I shall see you next time. See you then. After the death of Emperor Clodius, his son, Bartimus II, decided to continue his attempts to lower the loyalty of Ascar. And although the loyalty of the town became rather low, by the summer of 1161, Bartimus II decided to abandon Ascar. The loyalty has since rebounded. When the, when the new emperor left, it was around um, a loyalty of three. <laughs> In any event, this seems like a... Although the emperor did have res although the new emperor did have respect for his father, he chose to chart a different path than Emperor Clodius. Emperor Bartimus II has decided to infiltrate the nearby towns to Ortesia, Cuyas, Jalmaris, and leave agents within said communities. However, before he does this, the Emperor decides to engage in a local tournament at Jalmaris.
I think before Bartimus can engage in the criminal underworld, he needs to get form-fitting armor. He needs to increase his athletics. So I'm going to fight in a few melee fights until I get that. Hmm. Okay. Practice fight. Or I suppose practice fights. I'll move around. Doesn't matter if I win or lose. The goal is to gain more athletics. Let's try this again. I don't seem to gain skill points as quickly here as I do in tournaments. I think I'm just going to end the video off here and uh, start a new one. I do hope you've all enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time. See you then!